Good morning. Let me share something with you because I have a burden on me that is weighing me down. I have never in my life, and I'm 55 years old, I have never seen a time where there is so much distraction and deceitfulness and deception going on. And I know why. Because if the adversary know if he could get the air filled with all of these things, that there will be less discernment. The adversary does not want you to know the truth. He does not want you to know what God is doing in your life right now for you. Let me share something with you. When God gets ready to deliver a group of people, and he did this before in the Bible with the Israelites, there's three types of people that's going to show up. He's going to raise up a deliverer. He's going to call out a prophet. And he's going to look for an intercessor. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be three different people. They could all be in one person like Moses was. But that's what he gets. That's what he does. That's how he does things. And when those three people show up on the scene, you know God is about to do something mighty. And he's doing the same thing right now. He's calling those people out. He's raising them up. And he's looking for those people. Because he wants to do something mighty. And I'm going to tell you, one of the ones that Satan really tries to cover up and keeps us away from is the deliverer. He doesn't want you delivered from those things that are hindering and holding you and your children, your finances, your health back. He doesn't want it. See, in the Bible, there is a book called the book of Judges. Do you know what Judges mean in Hebrew? It means deliverers. Do you remember when the Israelites called out to God, get us, get us from under the, uh, the reign of these Egyptians. They are just holding us back. They're killing us. So the Bible says God raised up a deliverer. He raised up a judge. What judges do, the same thing that they do now today. Let me explain something to you. When you go into the courtroom, and you sitting in front of that judge. I ain't seen it yet because I love watching court TV. I ain't never seen a person stood up and say, you don't have the right to judge me. They sit there and they wait and see what judgment is handed to them. Why? Because that know, they know that that person that is sitting over them has been appointed by law. Ain't nothing new under the sun, people. That system, God didn't, a man didn't just make that up. They got that from God. God does the same thing to try to help people. He appoints judges. He appoints deliverers. And what they do is they come into your life. They say, hey, you need to get this right. You need to get that right. You need to walk straight down this way right here. And if you go this way, you're going to mess it all up. But what Satan does is he put this deception in our head. Like, can't nobody judge you. Listen, the Bible says by the spirit, a person can judge you. Not in his flesh, but by the Holy Spirit, a person can tell you what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. I thank God for the deliverers and judges in my life. Because if it was not for them. I would not be where I am today. I have a 73-year-old spiritual mentor. When she started texting me every day, because we don't talk every day, but when she started texting me regularly, when she started sending me things, I know 
that she's in that judge mode. She's in that delivering mode. She's trying to keep me on track. So don't be deceived. Know what Satan is trying to do. He's trying to keep you away. Because 2024, God wants to do something mighty. Not just for you, but for your whole family. For your whole community. For your whole generation. Y'all be blessed and be smart.